In this lecture snippet, I'd like to discuss a few options that we have available to securely erase data from our hard drive so that we could repurpose a hard drive for either continued forensic work or possibly to reuse a hard drive and not worry about just sensitive data being left on it. And so I have a couple tools listed here for the first three bullets. I have the shred, wipe, and scrub tools. You'll notice that shred is already installed on Ubuntu by default and wipe and scrub will have to install but they are both in the repository for Ubuntu. These tools are also available for other Linux distributions as well. To install wipe I would just run the sudo apt-get install wipe and to install scrub I would run sudo apt-get install scrub and all three of these tools come highly recommended for erasing data off of a hard drive. Other than the tools that I listed here there are other options for erasing data such as using the dd or the dc3dd command. Now these two tools are typically used for data acquisition or copying from one drive to another. However, we can also use those to erase the data on our destination drives. And so what I mean by that is this. If I'm running the dd command, and now this is already installed on Ubuntu, but if I run the dd command, I can set the input file to be a device called zero. And you can see the command there, which will tell the computer to write all zeros to your output file. So you can see my output file here is going to be DEV SDA. And of course you can also use SDA1 or 2 for a specific partition. In this case this would erase the entire hard drive called SDA. You can also set a random pattern rather than the zeros. So I could do U random for the device and then of course the output file being SDA, DEV SDA. Now I can also use DC3DD. This does not come installed on Ubuntu by default and so I'd have to install it from the repository using sudo apt-get install and then you see the DC3DD command. Now while using this command there are a couple different options. I've got wipe as an option so you'll see wipe equals the actual output destination or the output file so you'll see wipe equals DEV SDA. That'll be the drive that'll actually get wiped out and if we don't use the pad option for the pattern it'll actually wipe it out with zeros. So if I say pad equals random, that'll use random ones and zeros. I can also set my own pattern with just pad equals, and then if I type in a set of ones and zeros, any set that I would like here, it'll write that pattern instead to the hard drive. And you also have an option for text pattern. And you can see that I have text pattern equals, or tpat equals hello. And if I wanted to use multiple words, I would of course put that whole string within double quotes. So these are some options that I have here using the data acquisition tools. Now I will be doing some further videos on the utilities you see up here, the shred, wipe, and scrub, to show you how to use those tools to erase data from your hard drive as well. I do have a couple words of caution. While we're actually erasing data on a hard drive, now magnetic hard drives, which are still very commonly used today, have a platter. And that platter basically has ones and zeros written magnetically. And there's a technique called magnetic force microscopy, which basically looks at multiple layers of magnetism on a platter and it can actually read several layers of that so several of these ones and zeros that we may have written over on a hard drive can actually be read in different levels of the actual platter itself and so that is a word of caution so even if we wipe a hard drive with all zeros there is a technique that will allow us to read previous ones and zeros. I also want to mention Slackspace. Now with Slackspace, whenever we delete a file from our operating system, it doesn't actually delete it from our hard drive itself. It just actually leaves the file there and basically turns out an indicator that lets the operating system know that it can write over that file with new files. And in that event, we still would have Slackspace left over possibly, which means that that part of the file could be left over because the new file that wrote over it may not have been as large as the previous file. So we could still have remnants of that file left over. So that's another word of caution. Also, these journaled file systems that we have today, journaling file systems, they actually keep track of more than one record of your file. So you may find different instances of your file on a hard drive. So these are just some words of caution. Now I also have actions to help prevent some of these cautions that we have when we're erasing data. When it comes to the magnetic force microscopy, we can actually overwrite our data multiple times and those tools that I mentioned before, the scrub, the wipe, and the shred, those tools will allow you to write over the data with multiple times with random numbers and so that's one way we can actually combat that is just continually writing ones and zeros, several layers of them in random patterns so that it makes it nearly impossible to actually read 
what the previous data was on the hard drive. When it comes to the slack space, you can see that we can use the tool shred, wipe, or scrub to actually delete a file itself, and that will actually write over the whole entire file with ones and zeros or random ones and zeros. And then we've also got these journal file systems. Now, in order to completely be secure with journaling file systems, what we do need to focus in on is not just erasing a single file, but we'd actually need to erase the entire hard drive or the partition itself to make that one a little bit more secure. So this concludes the video on securely erasing disk drives. In the next few videos you'll see me using a few of those tools that we have available to actually erase the data off the drive itself.